Hello friends, I'm Neshik from blog2.com and in this video I'll teach you everything you need to know about WooCommerce from creating a product to management of stocks, setting up taxation options, getting to know all the shipping and checkout options and much more. And the most amazing thing is that WooCommerce is absolutely free and super easy to use. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos. With that being said, let's get started. The first step to get started is to install the WooCommerce plugin. To do so, go to your dashboard. At the left hand side, you will see something called plugins. Hover plugins and you will see three different options. You have to click on add new. And here in the search plugins, type in WooCommerce. This is the plugin which we need, WooCommerce by Automatic. It has got more than 1 million active installs and a very good rating. So just click on install now and activate the plugin. Now this is the WooCommerce setup wizard. The first option is asking you your store location. So select this and type in your state name. For example, I stay in Maharashtra, which is in India. So I'll type that. Now here, type in your address, your postal, zip number, city and so on. Also select your currency from your, I want Indian rupee. So I'll search for Indian rupee. Here it is and select this one. Now the type of product do you want to sell? I want to sell physical products. You want to sell digital products. You can select this one. If you want to sell both the products, you can select the third one. So let's select the third one. Click on let's go. Here you have to select all the options that you want to provide to your user or to the visitor, the checkout option, the payment options. For example, online options, there are PayPal, PayPal standard. You have some offline options also. If you expand this, you have check options, bank transfer, cash on delivery. So we won't do anything over here because we'll get all these options later on. Uh, we can do everything easily. So just click on continue. Now here is the third option, the shipping option. I would uh, just unmark everything because I'm not going to do any change from here. I'll do all the changes from dashboard because many people won't get this uh, particular setup wizard when they install WooCommerce and sometimes when you install WooCommerce you get different setup wizard. For example, I'm seeing this one for the first time. Okay, because I'm recording this video. I didn't even know that WooCommerce has updated. So I'll do everything from dashboard so that everyone who is watching in 2017, 18, 20, wherever, whenever you're watching, you can follow on. Okay, so just click on continue. Connect with Jetpack, we don't know how to do that. Okay, so click on this, which says skip this step. You're ready to start selling. We are, uh, get tips, product details and so on. If you want, you can just put in your email address and click on this yes please button if you want to create your first product click on over here but you don't want to do anything we'll create our products later on first we'll do all the woocommerce settings so at the bottom you'll see this link return to your dashboard click on that fine guys so we are back on our dashboard and from here we'll be doing all the settings so that everyone can follow me because so many a times it happens that you have already installed WooCommerce. So you won't be getting that setup wizard. So I want everyone to follow. Now here at the left hand side, you will see WooCommerce, how are WooCommerce and you have different options. For example, the first one is orders. Click on orders. We don't have any orders at present over here because this is a fresh install. But if you have orders and if you get orders, any product order, you'll see everything over here. You'll see the status of the product, for example, whether it is pending, whether the product has been shipped, whether you got the payment of the product or not, the number of product, the number of amount, the number of sales, shipping thing, everything about it, you'll see over here under orders. The second option is coupons. This is a very special offer and this is in fact a very special option which is given by WooCommerce. You can uh, use this to expand your business, to uh, generate more sales, to attract more, uh, more customers. Very, very useful. So we'll see how to create a coupon later on. First, we'll see all the important settings. So just click on the settings from here. Okay, so you're getting those options again over here. That's why I chose this. 
the first one is your address line 1 address line 2 city we have already entered this okay so now here is uh, some important uh, options general options selling locations to all to which are the countries that you will be selling in if you want to sell in all countries select the first one if you want to sell to a specific country select the third one and enter the country name for example I want to sell in India and maybe in Pakistan because it is a neighboring country so I may also consider that and whatever country you want to add you can add multiple countries over here we have one more option which is sell to all countries except for so you want to sell to all the countries but with some exceptions for example United States okay so maybe I don't want to uh, uh, sell to in uh, sell in in United States whereas I want to sell in all the country rest of the countries in the world fine so you can also do that I'll select this option sell to specific countries and I'll choose only India now here is your shipping location ship to all countries you sell to this is the perfect option according to me you have more option ship to all countries ship to specific countries only the first option is the perfect one whichever country you have selected over here you want to ship to all those countries okay if you have selected all the countries then this uh, will automatically be all the countries default customer location you have different options again i would recommend you to just let it be geolocate enable tax taxes we want to say yes we won't because we'll be enabling and seeing different tax taxation options store notice let it be currency we have already selected that currency position you have different position for example here the icon the currency icon is at the left here it is at the right here there is a little space between so you can select any one we are selecting the left one number of decimals and so on not very important settings but if you want to make changes you can do so easily once you are done with all the changes just click on the save changes button so we are done with the general option now click on products from here now here again under products we have four different options: general display inventory and this uh, downloadable products first is the general options let's see weight unit so this actually depends on the uh, product you're selling for example if you're selling t-shirts and those kind of product you will obviously not select kg you might select grams or pound or so on but you will surely not select kg whereas if you're selling laptops or computers refrigerators and so on then you might consider sell uh, you might consider kg over here so it depends on what kind of product you are planning to sell i will select grams from here dimension unit centimeter meter inches yards whatever you feel is uh, uh, right for your product you can select that i am selecting centimeter enable product reviews yes we want to enable that because we want to enable our customers to provide review on our account on our website okay they can provide a review to any particular product show verified owner labor on customer reviews this is very important many times it happens that the person who has not actually purchased the product is giving a review and that is not uh, acceptable that is not good actually so we want to enable this so that you know whenever someone is providing the review if he has already purchased the product this thing will be written beside his name very important review can only be left by verified owners if you want to do this you can just tick mark this i would uh, just leave it like this product rating enable star rating on reviews star rating should be required not optional you can select both the options it's all up to you just click on save changes now go to display the first option is shop page you'll see there are four page pages automatically created for you that is basically because we run that setup if you have if you don't see these four pages the shop page cart page checkout page my account page go to google and search for woocommerce shortcode you'll see some simple shortcodes copy those shortcodes and paste in uh, create any new page paste in that shortcode and that uh, you'll see different pages over here after that second option is shop page display so what do you want to display on the shop page products categories products and categories 
we want to display products on our shop page you will see all these options later on you will understand it better when we start creating products okay because if you have already watched my e-commerce videos you probably know what this is but if you haven't it if you are here for the first time if you are seeing woocommerce for the first time don't worry when we start creating product you know what shop page is how to show different uh, products on the shop page and so on so just don't worry relax and watch the complete tutorial you will be all right okay second option is default category display so here also we'll select show products default product sorting okay so you can have a default product sorting but this is not required because when we go to the shop page there is a, a sorting option given at the top so you can select your user can select any one of these so but you can set any default uh, option for example popularity in terms of sales add to cart behavior redirect to cart page after successful uh, addition enable edgex to cart button on our archives just leave it like this you don't have to do any changes over here but don't select tick mark this one the first one redirect to the cart page after successful addition what this means whenever a user adds a product to his cart he'll be redirected to the cart page which is not recommended many a times it happens with all of us we want to uh, add two three different products so we don't want each and every time when we uh, add a product in our cart to be redirected to the cart page that would be really annoying so make sure you untick this click on save changes now go to inventory here the first option is manage stock and it is tick mark you can tick mark this if you want basically what this means is when when you enable this option you'll see uh, these number of stocks uh, under your product for example if you have a product you'll get to know all these things when we start creating product so first understand and we'll when we start creating product i'll explain you again what that is okay so basically besides your product you'll see 60 products in stock and when 10 products are sold that will become 50 so that is what stock management is if you don't want users to so to see or to know how many products are there in stock you can just untake this and all the rest of the option will go but if suppose someone wants to do that then i'll take mark this and go to other options second option is hold stock minutes you can increase or decrease this timing notification enable low stock notification so whenever your stock is getting low okay for example here low stock threshold uh, when your product reaches two products when only two products are left in your uh, in your stock you will get a notification via this email okay so this is very important if you have enabled this enable out of stock notification again again when your product goes out of stock you will receive a notification on this particular email out of stock threshold zero you can increase this threshold for example i want when the product uh, the stock reaches 10 i should get a lo uh, st low stock notification so you can uh, play around with this according to your need out of stock visibility so here hide out of stock item from catalog if you want to do that tick mark this click on save changes now go to downloadable products here the first option is file download method by default file download method is selected force download method is selected uh, i also recommend that because that what does that do is hides your url so that is very important because if uh, the user knows the url then he can share that url and anyone can download that product without making any payment so force download make sure force download is selected from here access restriction download requires login if you want this you can just tick mark over here grant access to downloadable products after payment so uh, after payment whether you want to grant access to the downloadable product to the user or not if you untake this then you will have to do it manually so i would recommend to tick mark this because once he has paid uh, i don't think there there should be any problem he should have the access to the product he, which he has paid for click on save changes now go to tags here the first option is prices entered with tags whether you want to include tax exclude tax basically what this means is whether the product which are showing on your website whether you want to include the taxes also on that product for example if you have set 
ten dollars for a product and if you select this one the first one inclusive of tax and if you get one dollar tax on that for example 10 percent tax on that then your product price will show 11 instead of 10 so we don't want that we want exclusive of tax we want only the product price to show and not the tax price the tax price should be shown when the person is going to check out so make sure you select exclusive of tax from your calculate tax based on which address shipping address billing address shop base address so we'll select billing address shipping tax class so don't select any one of these just let it be the first one because we'll see how to set different tax for different products for example there are many products which are tax free there are many products which have higher taxes on them so we'll see those options later on don't worry just leave it like this rounding tax at subtotal level instead of rounding per line we'll see this thing again when we create product we go to our cart page we'll get to know what these options are then i'll come back uh, to this page and we'll see how uh, what changes does it make and the next option is additional tax classes by default two tax classes are already created the reduced rate and zero rate now we'll add one more just type in GST over there or VAT or whatever is followed in your country you can put in that in my country GST is followed so I'll put GST that is not actually GST but we call it GST okay we'll see all the options related to GST and now if you see we don't have these GST options over here but after I click on this save changes I'll get a new option over there first let's see the remaining options display prices in the shop excluding tax or uh, including tax again we want to uh, display excluding tax same here excluding tax now click on save changes now as i said you earlier will see this gst rate so here now click on that gst rates now here you have to enter the tax rate for example just click on this insert row the first option is country code so just type in your country code if I type I N, I get this option India. Now state code. If you want to uh, charge for a specific state, you can enter the state code. I'll type in M H for Maharashtra. And in Maharashtra, suppose you want to charge this text, whatever we are creating, only to specific zip code or postal code. You can enter those postal codes and zip code over here. If you if you want to charge this tax rate throughout the Maharashtra to the whole uh, to everyone who is who belongs to Maharashtra just leave this thing blank again leave the city also blank because when, when we leave this blank the whole it applies to whole of the city which uh, whichever city comes under Maharashtra now here we have to put in the rate for example put in 12 percent now give a tax name this is SGST state tax because we have to pay two taxes SGST and CGST state tax and central tax now view if you want to charge gst on shipping also for example if the shipping cost is two dollars if you want to charge gst on those two dollars also first you, you it is not upon you whether you want to charge or not you will have to do some research and you know get to know whether your country uh, charges uh, tax on shipping or not and accordingly in my country we have to charge uh, on shipping so I'll tick mark this and click on save changes. Now again click on insert row. Now I'll be adding the CGST, the state tax. Again India. Now I'll leave the state code blank. Because I want this tax to be applied to the whole country. Wherever the person or visitor is from, he has to pay this tax. Okay, so I'll put 12% again and in the name I'll put CGST okay and again i'll be charging cgst on shipping also so click on save changes these two options are enough for taxation if you're selling only one product for example if you're selling only shirts then these two options are enough because all the shirts will have uh, the same tax rates but if you want if you're if you're charging different tax rates then you have to do some changes over here for example if you are also selling a product which has higher tax rate, then you have to create a tax tax rate for those also so again you will click on insert row you'll type in india maharashtra you'll change the tax rate you'll change the tax name if you want and similarly you can create 
n number of n number of uh, tax rates okay, over here okay so this was the gst now let's see the standard rates click on standard rates here also you can click uh, click on uh, you can create standard tax rates over here if you have reduced tax rates for some product you can click over here now these taxes and these different classes will be selecting when we create our product so when we create a product we will be selecting these classes which we are creating zero tax rate if you have any product which has zero tax rate you can click over here click on insert row india okay so i'll this up, uh, applies to whole country so i'll leave all this thing blank i'll put in zero over here tax name zero tax fine click on save changes this is just an example okay so now if you if we create any product that uh, that does not have any tax on it then we'll get an option the tax option when we start creating the product and there we have to select this zero tax rate okay so this was different tax options very very important now click on shipping okay so this is how it will look first we have to add a shipping zone so click on this button you can also click on over here click on this add shipping zone you have to give it a name for example i'll name it india because i'm shipping only in india zone region okay so again here you have to select your state or you can select your country i am selecting india the whole of india now click on save changes now here next you have to add some methods shipping methods so click on add shipping method flat rate free shipping local pickup so let's see one by one first select flat rate click on add shipping method here the flat rate is enabled now click on edit flat rate taxable or not taxable and here is the cost for example i have selected indian rupees so for example i want to charge 60 rupees which is approximately one dollars so i will put 60 rupees flat rate and click on save changes but there is a problem with that let me explain you it's a very simple example if a person is purchasing one shirt from my website then he'll be charged 60 rupees on that shipping cost and if the same per person is uh, purchasing 100 different uh, 100 different uh, shirts from my website he'll again be charged only 60 rupees so there is a problem over here we have to do some more changes more changes over here again click on edit now instead of 60 or before 60 just type in what i'm saying just delete everything open this bracket this square bracket i guess we call it and type in qty for quantity close this bracket now put this hashtag sign and put in the amount 60 rupees or whatever the amount you want now if he purchases 10 quantity so he'll be charged 600 rupees okay so this is very very important don't just put a, a amount over here put this code qty into 60 click on save changes you can add more shipping method for example select this one select local pickup or free shipping click on add shipping method edit free shipping you won't be charging any amount minimum order amount okay so for example i am typing thousand rupees so when a person purchases a product over thousand rupees he'll he'll be eligible for free shipping very important again click on save changes fine so we have added two different rates over here the flat rate and ship and free shipping now click on shipping options now here the first option is calculation enable shipping calculator on the cart page okay so on the cart page the user will get a, get a calculator and we put and when the user puts in his postal code he will be uh, shown how much how much amount he'll be charged for shipping on that particular postal code very important next option is hide shipping cost until a address is entered if you want you can uh, just tick mark this shipping destination default to billing address now click on save changes now shipping class again very important option no shipping class has been added now let's add a shipping class and see why it is important click on add shipping class now let's name it bulky now first let's me, let me explain you suppose you as i said you earlier if you are selling more than one product 
or more than one type of product for example shirt and some electronics when someone purchases a shirt or orders a shirt from your website you'll you will charge maybe one dollar or 60 rupees according to india we charge 60 rupees but when someone is purchasing or ordering a television a big television then obviously you won't be charging 60 rupees uh, or else you will have to pay that from your own pocket so for those kind of product we create different shipping class so instead of uh, a shipping class bulky you can also just type in television okay so that you can understand it much better so on television here also just type in the same thing it is just uh, the url description will type in shipping cost for television for tv fine click on save shipping class okay now click on edit oh, sorry now again come to this ship uh, shipping zones again edit this india or edit whatever your country you have selected now go to flat rate now here if you see first we are getting only these three options now we are getting more options shipping class cost okay so television shipping class cost what do you want to enter the cost of shipping class for television this was for normal products for all the ordinary products for for but for television we will have different shipping cost okay so here again i'll type in the same code i'll open the square bracket i'll type quantity into this asterisk sign and here you can put in the amount for example i want to charge 500 dollars as the shipping cost for television i can enter that price and here calculate type per class to charge shipping for each shipping class okay click on save changes so these two options were very very important the tax options and shipping options if you guys have any doubt regarding this you can let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to help you guys click on this checkout option now now this is again a very very important option the first option over here is coupons whether you want to enable use of coupons obviously calculate coupon discounts uh, uh, sequentially when applying multiple coupons apply the first coupon to the full price and the second coupon to the discounted price and so on no we want only one coupon to be applied so just don't tick mark this checkout process enable guest checkout whether you want to enable guest checkout if you untick this then the user will have to first create an account to do a checkout on your website which is not recommended then this is for, uh, for secure checkout tick mark this and make sure you have an ssl certificate this is an ssl certificate if you see on my address bar this secure uh, green secure button very very important guys if you're creating an e-commerce website and if you don't have this it is a dangerous thing because if you click on over here you'll get this option your information for example pass password or credit card number is private when it is set to this site so this is very important because if you don't have this you'll get that you'll get a message that entering your card option or any option any detail over here is not secure so that is very dangerous you should have an ssl certificate i'll give a link to a video in the video description below wherein you can see how to get a free ssl certificate if you uh, sign up with tmd hosting you can get a free ssl certificate so make sure you check check the video description you'll get a lot of important things over there now you have to select different pages cart page make sure cart is selected checkout page make sure checkout is selected if you want to if you you can create a terms and conditions page and select that page from here and these are just the urls for pay order pay order received you can change this urls not recommended but you can do so now here are different options first click on save changes so to, so that you don't miss any changes here there are different options we don't want to enable any one of these here the checkout option is enabled we don't want that so what we'll, what we'll do first we'll click on check options and untick this click on save changes now again click on checkout options so here as you can see now nothing is enabled but we want to enable paypal so click on paypal from here click on enable paypal standard you can change the title the description from here enter your paypal email address 
this is my paypal email address okay just leave this thing uh, don't tick mark these things okay this is for you know test payments and so on so just don't uh, put anything over there leave everything over here blank and come at the bottom api credentials a username password signature now you, that you'll get on your paypal page so just open a new tab type in paypal.com log into your account type in your password username and password here i'll have to blur something don't worry about that at the left hand side you'll see this selling tools and uh, there you'll see a middle option which says seller preferences click on that here again you have different options here is the api access option and besides that you'll see this update link click on that link we again get two different options add or view api signature if you want to view api signature the second option from here click on view api signature now it will confirm whether you are the person or the owner of this account so you have different option whether you want to receive a sms receive a automated call so if you do so if and when you click on this continue button you'll get three different codes you just have to copy those codes and paste in or your username password signature and click on save changes okay i'll i won't do that because i have shown that many different times and that is very easy you just get uh, those codes you copy and paste it over here everything will be fine but if you still want to know that if you still want to see you know i want to see those codes i want to see how to copy and paste that then i have created a video for that also i'll also link that video in the video description below in fact i have created a playlist on woocommerce anything you want to know about woocommerce or e-commerce you can check out that playlist you will get a lot of things over there okay so again let's click on this checkout options now here if you see uh besides paypal we get this yes which is which means that this is enabled now what i'll recommend you first do some research whether stripe there is a plugin called stripe whether stripe is accepted uh, in your country or whether it is available in your country or not it is not available in my country in india yet so i cannot show you how to use that but i would recommend you to go with paypal and stripe both stripe is very important because when you use stripe you your user can do checkout on your own website provided that you have an ssl certificate so very very important i would strongly recommend you to uh, do some research and see whether stripe is supported in your country if it is then make sure you do watch some tutorial if someone has made i am sure there would be many tutorials on that and also install a stripe i cannot show you that because that is not supported in my country unfortunately okay so this is how your this is what your checkout options are you can see more options i don't think anyone will be you know ordering this uh, or enabling this check options bank account transfer options and so on uh, or if you want to do so you can just uh, check out those options i don't think anyone would do that today okay now go to accounts here you have to say, make sure that my account is selected over here for my account page customer registration enable customer registration on the checkout page now we also want to enable customer registration on the my account page display returning customer login reminder okay fine account creation automatically generate custom password you don't want that again we have some urls if you want to change this urls i would not recommend that you can do so click on save changes now go to emails and here just make sure for the for first three the new order cancel order and a failed order you have a perfect and correct email address under recipient because whenever you get a new order you will get a email a notification on this particular email address and whenever you get a cancelled order failed order again you will get a notification on this particular email address very important make sure you have your email address over here if you don't have it over here click on this configure button and you can put in your email address from here you can change the subject and so on fine so you can do so click on save changes Okay, guys. So these were all the changes, all the settings about the WooCommerce general settings. Now let's see how to create a coupon. So click on coupons from here. Now click on this button at the top, which says Add Coupon. 
now we can uh, name it anything for example i have a coupon code for different purposes like in a year 60 when you want if you want to get 60 percent discount on host getter you can use this coupon code and a double y a r six zero in a year 60 if you want to get seven percent discount on tmd hosting you can put in a year seven so it, this is how your coupon code would look like very important again you can add some description for example use the coupon to get seven percent off now you can put in anything over here now here is the main options the coupon data general option usage restriction usage limit first let's see the general options discount type what kind of uh, what type of discount it is percent discount fixed card discount fixed product discount percent discount is basically here we have set seven percent discount so we'll uh, put in seven over here seven percent over here and this option says if you have created this coupon to allow free shipping you can enable this for example i can name this coupon as uh, free ship okay so whenever anyone uses this coupon he will get a free shipping uh, to his uh, to, uh, he, he'll get a free shipping basically you can put a uh, expiry date to this coupon you can select any for example this is available only for two three weeks so you can select that okay you can click on publish for now now let's go to usage restriction minimum spend maximum spend so he has to spend at least 500 5000 rupees or 100 dollars whatever you want to put in over there to get or to use this coupon whether whatever coupon you are creating maximum spend now it is also very important to have a maximum spend because we don't want anyone to spend a big amount and get a great discount on that so you can also put a maximum amount for example one lakh rupees or so on individual use only check this box if the coupon cannot be used in conjunction with other coupons very very important because you don't want people using 10 different coupons and you know ultimately getting the product for free and also free shipping we don't want that so make sure this is check marked exclude sales items again make sure this is tick mark again very important because when we are giving some sale on a product already there is some sale then we don't want to give more discount through these coupons okay so if you want to provide this coupon only for specific products you can type in these products over here you can type in the product name you will get all the products over here you can select that product we haven't created any product yet that's why we, we won't get any options if you want to exclude some product you can put in that product over here if you want to uh, enable this coupon only for few cat product categories you can enable this if you want to exclude categories enable this if you want to exclude some uh, e emails uh, so you can put in those emails over here click on update usage limits unlimited usage no obviously no one time or 10 times whatever time you want limit usage to x items okay applying to all items in cart this is basically or one item or two item whatever i how number of items you want you can select okay by default if you leave this blank if there are three different products in his cart then the, this coupon will be applied for all those three different products usage limit per use per user will again put one click on update Hey guys so these were some basic settings about the woocommerce and how to create coupons now in the next section in the next part of this video we'll see how to create different products simple product affiliate product you know variable products and different kind of product so see you guys in the next section welcome back guys in this section we'll see how to create different products so let's get started and create our first product at the left hand side you'll see different options first we were playing with woocommerce settings now here the second option is products when you hover products you get different options click on add new now here you have to type in the product name for example blue t-shirt for men okay it could be anything i'm just giving any uh, giving you a short example now here you have to create a category if you haven't already created it for example let's click on this and let's create a category t-shirts click on add new category now as you can see the category is created and it is tick mark which means this is in use now here we have to select simple product 
give a regular regular price for example this is rupees so i'll give it 600 rupees sales price i won't put it now this is a very simple product we'll go step by step okay now tax status whether this is taxable or not if this product is not taxable we'll select none if this is taxable we will select taxable if tax is applied only on shipping for example this product is not taxable but shipping uh, on shipping we have to charge tax so we'll select shipping only but here i'll select taxable tax class so i'll select gst which we created if you remember now go to inventory sku is stock keeping unit basically it is your warehouse where you have all your stocks so if you have an id for that you can put in that id for example it could be uh, sgsc actually and one this is a sh short code it, it, it don't have to put this code you can just put in any code or your warehouse name okay i have put this this stands for something manage stock if you enable this uh, you will show different quantities for example if you have 100 100 pieces or 100 quantity of this shirt then you will put 100 and whenever a new product purchase is made this quantity will get decreasing and when it is uh, when it will reach to 10 products you will get a notification that the product is on a very low stock and you should refill and uh, refill the quantity so this is also important or maybe for some it is important for some it is not if you don't want to show the number of product in quantity on the home on the on the web page you can just untick this allow back orders whether you want to allow back orders or not which means when the product is out of stock whether you want to uh whether you want the user to uh to be allowed to you know leave a order for that product or not so by default it is set to no but uh, you have two different options if you want to allow back orders you can do so allow but notify uh, notify customer that this uh product is out of stock but we, we can take your order and we'll get get we'll ship this order to you as soon as it is in stock so there are different options we can allow we can not allow and so on you can select any option which you like so stock status in stock or out of stock uh, basically we'll select in stock you select out of stock when your product is out of stock and so that your product doesn't show on the page because when it is not in stock it doesn't make any sense showing the product on the page but here we'll select in stock enable this to only allow one of this item to be bought in a single order we don't want to enable this okay go to shipping now here you have to type in the weight of the product for example it can be i don't know 200 grams maybe length whatever it is it is all in in, uh, in centimeters then i don't know just type in any number shipping class this is not television so regular shipping class okay i think we had to create okay fine i think we did one mistake we just created one class shipping class we didn't created the normal class don't worry we'll do the we'll do this after creating this product so make sure now just select this no shipping class now go to link products up sales cross sales we'll see these things later because you don't have any product we cannot add a product basically upsell is when you get different option for example if you're purchasing one product and you get a few more options as as a recommendation you you might have seen this uh, on amazon when you're purchasing one product you're getting more options for example when you're purchasing a monitor there will be more options in the bottom uh, for example hard disk and so on so this is what uh, upsells is cross sells is basically you get some options some recommendation when you're in in your cart for example you have uh, saved one product in your cart you will get more options related to that product so you can select those products so here we haven't created any product yet that's so we won't do that now but when we create two three products after that we can do so okay attributes we will see at these attributes later on this is just a very simple product so we won't be seeing all these options for simple product this is uh, it okay this is uh, this is the only things which you have to fo follow for variable we'll see all these attributes and so on now here is the product short description product long description so let's grab some lorem ipsum some dummy text to fill in over there okay paragraphs generate lorem ipsum okay let me select like this 
maybe this much fine copy and paste this is uh, basically your short description over here and this is your long description so we'll put this under long description we'll copy these two lines and we'll put it under short description now i'll show you where these things come when we publish this product now product image you have to select the product image click on set product image click on select files make sure you're under upload files click on select files now maybe this is the image i want so i'll select this click on open click on set product image now we can have some uh, product as gallery images click on add product gallery images again go to upload files select files so maybe i want these three products click on open add to gallery fine you can add some tags for example shirts okay so you can see one more uh, one tag is added you can add another tag men so uh, tags are basically important when someone clicks on shirt so all the product with which has this particular tag will show so that is also important fine now click on preview changes let's see how our product looks like fine this is how it looks like you have your product over here this is the title your product price 600 rupees 100 in stock this is the short description which we put. This is the SKU tags category. This is the long description, some additional description, your weight dimensions and anyone who wants to leave a review can review over here. Fine. So this is how and we also have our gallery images over here. So this is very good, very simple and nice. Everything is going fine. So let's come back to our, our product over here. Click on publish until you click on that publish your product won't show on uh, on your home page on your website okay now before doing anything let's add a shipping class first so again how our woocommerce click on settings go to shipping shipping classes okay we have only one over here we'll add one more add shipping class and we'll just type in t-shirts over here you can put in any description you want click on save shipping class go back to shipping options or maybe shipping zones edit under india fine flat rate now here we have to put in the shipping cost for t-shirts so let's let's put that uh, uh, formula again qty under square brackets into maybe 60 rupees fine click on save changes come back over here at the top you'll see this edit product open that link in a new tab scroll down go to shipping shipping class now select t-shirts so now 60 rupees will be charged uh, when someone is ordering this product or as the shipping cost click on update fine so we have seen that now this was a very simple product okay this is the simple product now suppose if you want to offer some sale for example in india during diwali season diwali is a festival in india the sales just go up you know there are so many offers going on on different e-commerce websites so maybe you want to uh, you know offer something like that so how you do that again come back to your product and here put in sale price for example you want to put uh, you want to give 200 rupees discount so you'll put six 400 rupees sale price okay so the original price was 600 now you're selling it for 400 now you can also schedule this for example this is available only for three days during that season so maybe it is available from 13 which is today till fifth sorry till 15th fine now click on update come back to this page refresh now as you can see over here now this price is cut and this is the original price now 400 rupees and you also get this thing which says this is on sale so this increases the chance of sales so this was the sale product this is also part of simple product just a small change over there now let's see other products so i won't be creating new product again and again we'll be playing around with this product only 
So this was the simple product. Now select this and select variable product. So variable product is basically where you have different variations. For example, you, you have a t-shirt, you have different colors, you have different sizes and so on. So those are variables. So when you select variable products, thus a uh, few options change from here. The general option is the same. Inventory is the same. Shipping is also the same. Link product. Now we'll see this later. Actually, we haven't created any product, so we cannot do this. Uh, for that, we need to create some product. I'll see that later. Don't worry about that. Go to attributes now and click on add attribute. Now here we have to add the attribute. For example, if you have different colors, so under names, type in colors fine and make sure this is tick mark used for variations and here you have to type in different colors or different size whatever variation you have and you have to separate it by this pipe icon this okay for example we we have blue this is the blue one then we'll put in this pipe icon then we'll uh, may, maybe we have white t-shirt and black t-shirt fine so we have three different colors we'll click on save attributes so we have created the attribute now we have to create the variations so click on variations from here now select this and select the second option create create variations from all attributes and click on go click on ok ok so three variations have been created blue white and black now we have to uh, expand each other, each one and we'll see different options the first option is to enter a image upload an image so click on this this is the blue one so i'll select this one click on set variation sku you can change the uh, sku from here now here we'll put a different price for different products so that we can see how powerful this plugin is and what all it can do for example for blue t-shirt we want to charge 600 rupees we we are not giving any sale or anything over here now in stock you can see all the same options over here weight dimension and so on now select the white one now for white one we want a different image so i'll upload a new image go to upload files select file let's select this one white one click on open set variation image and we'll uh, price this at 500 rupees go to the third one the last one black one expand this i want a different image for this also let's upload an image okay let's select this one this is actually gray click on ok open click on set variation image and we'll price this at 400 rupees click on save changes rest all the settings remain same all this uh, this short description long description product categories and everything remains same only this has changed now click on update again come back to your product refresh the page now as you can see you are getting this uh, instead of price 400 to 600 and we are getting an option colors now when you choose this color blue you can see the price over here is 600 and this is in stock when you uh, choose some different color for example white the price changes to 500 and the image also changes and when we select black the image again changes the price also changes this is an awesome feature guys very very really really awesome feature very useful feature so this is how you create a variable product again come back to this product page and let's see what is the next option okay so let's create a new product so what i'll do i won't create to click on this add new product because for again i'll have to put in all this description and so on i'll click on this all products and here i'll see my product over here i'll click on duplicate okay so what i'll do now i instead of blue i'll type in white t-shirt i'll remove this copy I did this just to save my time because this is just for tutorial purposes. You guys should not duplicate the product. You have to create a new product every time. You know, I duplicate it because I don't have to put in these descriptions, select these categories and so on again and again. Now go to link product and here in upsells type in the product name. For example, type in blue. It is searching. Now as you can see, you have different product options over here. So select the blue one. Now it will come for upsell. When you select for cross sell, again select blue. Okay, the same t-shirt. 
now i want to change the image this is the white shirt so i'll select this one click on this i'll also add different product gallery images so just delete all these things click on add product gallery images upload files select files and let's select these two images click on open add to gallery publish this product now let's see how it this product looks like click on preview changes okay guys so this is how it looks like this is also a variable product because we duplicated it okay now when we scroll down you see this thing you may also like so this is what uh, upsell is you're getting this option you may also like and now let's add this product under the cart now let's go to the cart okay here it is click on this product click on our cart page and here you you are getting a new option you may be interested in so this is the cross sale okay guys so these are different options like upsell and cross sale you don't actually uh, show different products so here you show different uh, so, you know subsidiary product or different kind of product for example if you're selling if some if you, if someone is ordering a t-shirt he might not order another t-shirt but he might order a jeans a sunglasses or something and here if you see this is the shipping calculator flat rate you are getting 120 rupees over here fine you have different calculate shipping even when doing those changes we saw this calculate shipping when you put in your zip code over here and click on update the changes occurs you get the you know free shipping if you are if you are eligible for free shipping and when you click on this calculate shipping you get your flat rate over here okay the shipping rate according to your zone now you can proceed to checkout and so on i was just showing you how what different uh, upsell and cross sell is now let's cut this thing again come back over here now we have seen how to create a simple product how to create a sale product and how to create a variable product now let's create a group product and see what that product is so what i'll do i'll again go to all products i'll duplicate this one to save some time i'll change this name instead of white t-shirt for men let's put in gray okay the spelling for gray may differ according to which country you belong to now instead of variable i'll put group product fine and let's do one thing let's not put gray t-shirt let's put t-shirt combo because here we, we are not putting any you know any product it is just a group which we have which we are creating and we'll be adding different product to this particular group if you don't understand don't worry when i'll do this or when i'll create this you'll get to know what it is okay and delete everything from here we don't want anything over here right now delete everything under group products also delete this thing because we have seen what this upsells and so on is now click on update click on preview changes okay so this is how it looks there is no product actually now let's create some uh, again go to add products we'll create some simple products and we'll group them in this particular thing now let's duplicate this one and let's change the title to simple so that we know what product we are talking talking about and we'll change instead of variable product we'll make it simple product let's put uh, any price 600 let's cancel this selling and so on okay fine rest everything is fine we want to remove this also we don't want any color or thing or anything over here we just want a simple product okay click on publish now again go to all products now we will duplicate this simple product again change the title instead of blue let's make it gray gray simple product change the image to this one fine click on publish so we have two simple products now now we will add these two products or may to the group which we have created okay so click on all products t-shirt combo click on this edit button now scroll down go to link products and here you'll see this group products 
now type in the product name i'll type in simple so that i get all the products which uh, which i have created as a simple product okay so these two now click on update now again come back to this page refresh and let's see the changes okay as you can see now we can see the changes okay we didn't change the image i guess okay here it is the image is present you can now this is what a growth product is you have two different products so instead of going to each one of these product a person can uh, you know order two uh, different quantities of different product from one single page you can click on add to cart and these products will be added to the cart so this is what a group product is very simple now again click on add products and we'll see different kind of products now now let's duplicate a simple product any one of this let's duplicate this one so we have seen all the main important products the simple variable group products and so on now let's cre uh, create a affiliate product so let the title be same come back over here and instead of simple products let's create this one external or affiliate product now you can put in the product url so for example i i am i'm selecting amazon.com or dot in now let's select any url for example let me select okay t-shirt from here okay let's select this one and obviously when you are selecting an affiliate product you need to have uh, affiliate ID or here only then you will be paid for that because when you're doing affiliate marketing you're selling someone else's product and you get a small commission on that if you want to know more about affiliate marketing and how to create an Amazon affiliate website I'll give a link in the video description below in fact you can find that video in the playlist the e-commerce or WooCommerce playlist you will find all the uh, videos related to e-commerce or WooCommerce in that particular video very helpful okay in that particular playlist now copy this URL paste in over here now you can change the button text uh, to from a uh, buy product to different product now for example I want buy it from Amazon you should not put this but if you want you can put this you can set a price okay here it is whatever the price is given now this is the problem you should not create an affiliate product using Woo using WooCommerce because the price over here keeps on changing and this is not dynamic this is just a static price and if you see the website which I'm talking about the Amazon affiliate website there I have shown how you can you know just link this product over here and the price on your website also keeps on changing accordingly so make sure if you're interested in affiliate product product you should see that here this is not the perfect uh, plugin for affiliate products so I'll just put in the same price and I'll publish now let's see this product how it looks like click on preview changes okay so now you get this button buy it from Amazon and when you click on this you are redirected to this particular URL or this particular page when someone purchases makes any purchase you get a small commission okay so this is what an affiliate product is okay external product cannot be stock managed obviously because we are not maintaining the stock so under inventory you can delete everything okay and everything related to stock you can just delete and click on update now we don't get that error fine now let's see what product is left so we have seen simple grouped external variable now click on simple again and here we have two different type of product download and virtual downloadable product can be anything for example if you go to theme forest you'll see a different themes over there when you purchase, make some purchase you get the team to download so that is a download you see itunes and so on uh, different products where you can download different website where you can download the product so just click on tick mark this downloadable you can set a price for example 100 rupees you can set uh, select the file which you want to download for example let me click this file you can just name it any file for example I'm putting image for example if you have any premium image website file URL I'll choose file let me select for example i'm selling this image over here click on insert file url basically people sell files like audios ebooks and so on 
if you want you can in, uh, include more files over here download limit you can set to 10 20 how many times a person can download once the purchase uh, once the payment is made download expiry you can also set a download expiry just enter the number of days tax you can select all these taxation options now what what i'll do first let me update this product now then i'll explain you what i'm saying and come back over here okay let's delete this click on preview changes okay so this is how it looks uh, just like a normal product obviously you should change your image from here now what i'll do i'll let me put this to zero and click on update again come back over here refresh the page okay so this is a free product now i'll click on add product this is under my this product is added to my cart i'll click on view cart now you can check out okay fine you can do check out and when you click on this my account page over here when, once you download the product you will see those file over here under downloads okay so very important this is also important if you want to create a website like that now cut this thing now let's see the last product which we have to create the virtual product select this and tick mark this virtual product can be anything which is not actually product for example you can uh, you know schedule a call a consultancy call or subscription coupon you know for example if you're selling you if you're just created a coupon website and if you're selling a 20 percent off coupon for one dollar two dollar you know different stuff i know crazy stuff i don't know what could be a good example for virtual product that kind of product over here same process just put in a price write in some description about that product and click on update now those products are not i don't know who uses that but there are few people who does and i hope this video was helpful for all of you guys you learned something new make sure you subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up to this video and if you have any doubt whatsoever you can leave a comment in the comment section below and make sure you see my playlist the woocommerce e-commerce playlist very very important guys anything you want to know about woocommerce or e-commerce you will get to know over there Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.